Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of March 16th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, also this week, make sure to leave a comment down below. I do these readings in order of, I mean, no I don't. <laughs> I'm still doing a giveaway for a personal reading every single week. So if you want to be part of that, all you have to do is uh, leave a comment and you are automatically entered to win. But Cancer, uh, let's see what is going on for you here. And uh, Cancer, let me know what you how you like this new setup. A lot of people said they want to see me shuffle and want to see the spread. Uh, you can kind of see the spread here, kind of not, but close enough, right? So Cancer, you start off with the Six of Cups here in the Fool. It's kind of pretty crazy. <laughs> this is uh, this is very similar to uh, Taurus's reading that I just did. I would say the story is definitely different, but a lot of the same cards. I would say if you have Taurus placements, like a Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising, something like that, uh, you would probably, I would suggest watching uh, Taurus's reading. But you have the Six of Cups in the Fool card, this looks like a choice for happiness. This is actually a very positive reading. There's very little, the only challenging card you have here is the Two of Swords, but it's like coming up in your uh, present position. So I feel like for some of you, this is like just a taking a leap towards happiness, or it's like you are becoming more happy uh, with this Six of Cups. Six of Cups to me is like childlike energy, and, you know, it can represent a million different things, but to me it's like childlike, playful energy, especially when it comes up with something like The Fool, which is also like playful energy. So I feel like for some of you, this could be you starting something that you've wanted to start for a very long period of time. So, or it could be you getting like a job that you've wanted for a very long time, or even a relationship. Uh, next, you have the Four of Wands here and the Three of Wands. Yeah, this is like marriage. <laughs> so I feel like some of you uh, could be on the path. I would say if you're looking to get married, if you're not already married, uh, that you are definitely on the path to marriage if that's something that you want. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles to me is the path to marriage. It is kind of like going on the journey to get married. So I feel like some of you could be on the path to marriage. Three of Wands just is saying like it will happen in the future. Uh, for others, I feel like for whatever reason, what's popping into my head is like, I feel like you need to create happiness and freedom now. Like I feel like for some of you, Three of Wands can represent waiting for the perfect moment uh, for something or waiting for the perfect moment to start something. I've, and the Three of Wands every once in a while to me says there never will be a perfect moment. It basically says that time is now. You have the Fool card which says just do it. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you could be waiting for certain things to change before you do something, but I feel like, you know, that time will never come. So I'd say just get started, just do it on something that you've been thinking about starting or doing with these cards. Uh, this could also be like a very social energy. The Three of Wands is like not wanting to necessarily, it's kind of like waiting to get out there. Four of Wands is like saying go have your celebrations. Uh, next you have the Knight of Wands here. And the Hermit, yeah, needing to, like this whole first row here, I feel like is like needing to get out, is what I'd say to you, Cancer. If you're looking for love, I would get out there. The Nine of Wands is a card of like very spontaneous energy, and it's also a card of like desires, doing something that you desire to do. It's pretty crazy. This diagonal that you have here is the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Wands. This is a very, this is like you going, I feel like you are going from the Knight to the Queen to the King. So it's like you are g moving towards a position of authority, you are moving towards a position of um, like kind of living your dreams in a certain way. The Wands cards don't really represent living your dreams as much as they do represent living your desires or kind of like living a life of joy like that Six of Cups is asking you to do. So I, I, I really like this energy for you here, Cancer. I feel like it's very good. For some of you, you could have a fire sign coming in for love and for others could be a Virgo as well. I definitely feel like some of you have been dealing with a Virgo from the past is what I would say probably. For some of you, it could be uh, you, someone you are dealing with currently, but like I said, for most of you, I feel like it would be a Virgo from the past. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Cups trying to manifest love into your life. It's like you are trying to manifest the perfect offer into your life with that Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're trying to manifest a work offer, job offer, business offer. It could be a love offer as well. And the Four of Cups is like a card of like this person on the Four of Cups is manifesting offers, um, these, th these cups in front of them, but it's like they're not choosing a cup. So either you aren't manifesting very good choices, uh, and again, this is out, out of your control, is what I'd say, Cancer, it's not like it's your fault or something, but I feel like just the choices that have been showing up haven't been very good. This could be in love, and it could also be in business or work, and it could also be that you are looking for something very specific with this Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like it's coming. 
my, my only advice to you here with all these wands cards would be to take control. Like this is saying like, don't wait. You know, it's saying get out there and kind of find what you are looking for here um, with these cards. So that's what I would do for you here, Cancer. I do feel like for some of you, this could be just a, a very favorable offer coming in in the near future. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Wands here, Cancer and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is an increase in energy. Even if we just go like this, like I said, in this diagonal here with the Knight, the Queen, the King, this is like a gradual increase in your energy. It's like an increase in the energy that you just have on a day-to-day -day basis. The Four of Swords says maybe you have taken a break from something or maybe you have taken a step back from something as well. Uh, you know, it's part of meditation, rest, relaxation, but it could also represent you maybe moving away from something like love or uh, taking time away from work. And it's like now with the Queen of Wands, it's like saying you're waking up and you are getting ready to get out there and do something that you want to do with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a, like a very bold, assertive energy. It is a card of like needing to be more bold, needing to be more assertive. I would definitely say this is saying to also share your ideas as well. The Queen of Wands to me can say that sometimes like at work or in business, maybe we keep our ideas to ourselves. We don't share these ideas. We don't put them out there. And then maybe somebody else does. And it's like they get all the credit. So the Queen of Wands to me says like be bold, be assertive, put your ideas out there and work in business. They'll probably be very good for you. Uh, same thing in love as well. Queen of Wands says you're very attractive at this time. So I would get out there with that uh, Queen of Wands. Uh, next you have the Two of Swords here. Six of Wands, this is like success coming in for you. That Two of Swords is, uh, could be just not seeing it. The other thing is, is that uh, Leo always gets this message as well, Cancer, that you know, and you two are very close to each other. I always say the two signs right next to each other always have very similar messages. The Two of Swords, to me, can represent kind of like upsetting people in your life or doing something that maybe other people don't agree with. But, you know, I think I said it to like Gemini this week, maybe. I can't remember who it was, but somebody else had this card. And I was saying, you know, it's your life. It's not their life. So I feel like some of you are, I feel like that's what you're doing with these cards. It's like you're living your life. I feel like you are done living other people's lives for them or you know, trying to please other people. Six of Wands to me represents like success and good news because of it. Uh, for others, I just feel like this could be like a little, little bit of fear is what I'd say with this Two of Swords. The um, Six of Wands is like good news coming in, but that Two of Swords I feel like is just some maybe doubts that you're having this week. I feel like they will go away. I feel like things will be fine, but I do feel like you could be having some doubts there. Uh, next, in your future position, you have the King of Wands here with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like some of you could be walking away from the past if someone's trying to come back in. I feel like this person could have been a player, you know, basically with that uh, Knight of Wands. I feel like saying this person was very fickle as well. So I feel like some of you could have just been with someone who was just too back and forth. And I feel like maybe you would have taken them back like maybe a few months ago if this story is for you. But I feel like at this point, I feel like you are just done uh, with this type of person, more or less. So I feel like you're walking away. Uh, for others of you, I feel like this is you just not questioning things. The Eight of Cups to me can represent like uh, going over things too much in your head. It's a card of a deep dive. It's like a card that says you could be looking too deeply into something. And you know, this comes up a lot. Like I think when maybe people are trying to start a business, for example, it's like they don't get started because they're, they're kind of like looking at all the options. They're almost looking at too much, which is really more of the seven of cups, but the eight of cups is kind of similar because it can say you're just looking too deeply into something. That king of wands, I feel like is saying you are taking the lead now. I feel like you're taking control and it's like you're just getting something started. I feel like you're not like caring about all the too many extra details here with the eight of cups. Uh, next you have the queen of pentacles here, cancer and the seven of swords here. I feel like you're very, very skeptical uh, if someone if someone is trying to come back from the past here, Cancer. I feel like you're very skeptical of this person. I feel like they could be coming in, trying to communicate with you, all this other stuff. Judgment card here. You know, a lot of people, you have the Six of Cups. As I always say, to me, the Six of Cups does not represent someone coming back from the past. It is just a card of nostalgia. It is just a card of thinking about the past. It does not mean anyone's coming back. But that judgment card, on the other hand, definitely could represent someone trying to come back. And I feel like this is you kind of like, seeing their lies if someone told you lies in the past and I feel like you're kind of like very skeptical with that Queen of Pentacles of what's going on. Uh, for others, I feel like this is like fears on whether or not you will have the resources to do something that you want to do. Um, you know, for some reason, travel is popping into my head. So some of you could be like trying to save money to travel, or you could be trying to save money to um, move or something like that. And I feel like you're worried about whether or not you'll have the resources. I feel like you will. I feel like you'll be fine. Queen of Pentacles is a card of like resources coming in. So I feel like you will have the money to do it. 
And uh, finally here you have the Judgment card and the Seven of Cups. What do you know? So uh, like I was saying, too many details, right? Uh, the Judgment card though is like trusting your inner calling. It's funny because that Two of Swords you have over here as well. The Two of Swords is like very intuitive and it would represent like trusting your intuition or even just, um, you know, listening to your intuition, making an intuitive decision. Uh, normally the Two of Swords, she has a blindfold on and it, again, it kind of represents her making a decision based off of intuition. And so I feel like a lot of you could be, this judgment card would also, it doesn't, it's not really a card of intuition, but it kind of is because it's a card of your inner calling. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're listening to that inner voice in your life. And I feel like that's, li that's going to help you. Uh, for others, it's like if you are experiencing confusion, again, I feel like you just need to listen to your inner voice there with that judgment card. Yeah, you have the temperance card and justice. I do feel like if you're waiting for an apology or if you're waiting for something like that from someone, I do feel like it'll be coming in, but probably just not this week. Uh, for others, I feel like there's just more balance coming into your life, but this this reading is you creating the balance, um, especially with those wands cards there. Um, again, I realize that you're not a fire sign, but kind of having that wand energy to me says that you are the one that's taking control this week of your life. Yeah, look, two wands here, knight of pentacles. Two wands is taking control. It's a card of taking your personal power back. And that knight of pentacles is seeing something through to the end, like really putting in the work to be successful. So I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you here, Cancer. This looks very good, Cancer. I like this a lot. So thank you for watching, Cancer. Really appreciate it. And uh, I will be back tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so make sure to check that out. But uh, thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day.